If you are a sane, functional human being and you have no idea what a letterbox is, keep it that way. Keep yourself pure, keep yourself normal, do not learn what letterbox is and do not keep watching, you have been warned. If you don't know what a letterbox is and still sadly want to learn, it is a site where you rate, review, and log movies. That is the only purpose of it. It is a movie app where all you can do is basically talk about movies on it. Letterbox is a website that I use almost daily and honestly quite enjoy. I love the prospect of reviewing movies and talking about them with friends and letterbox being a website in which i can share my views on movies i love and hate is amazing it is quite literally a site devoted to opinions and discussions there is no news facts or actual info nothing it's pretty much just opinions and other people's thoughts and when you are able to see other people's thoughts and opinions only that means they are subject to judgment seeing everyone's profile on letterbox is a great way to judge a person it is more eye-opening than instagram profiles tinder profiles everything seeing one person's taste in movies is like seeing their entire life played out in front of you. A letterbox profile is powerful. If your taste in movies suck, then you suck. On Twitter, I ask people to send me their letterboxes to be judged. I want to see your taste. I want to see your opinions. I want to know what you like or hate. I want to see your terrible tastes. But before I judge other people's tastes, let me show you what a perfect letterbox profile is. My profile. My profile is the golden standard of opinion and taste. My profile is what all letterbox profiles should strive to be like. On each person's profile, you can put four films as your favorite. And so here, I've selected my four favorite films. Make sure that you select good movies, not movies that you like, or else you will be viewed as a very stupid human being. I did a mixture of the sorts, showing my exceptional taste while still being generally different from the average profile. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just better and I have good taste. Here I've selected It's Such a Beautiful Day, which I have a tattoo of, Where the Wild Things Are, Train Spotting, and The Favorite. I fall into the middle of these movies being reviewed highly on the site, but also enjoyed by me, which is strange. Like I said, most people do not enjoy their favorite movies, even though it is listed as their favorite movie. Movie. But here I am being an incredibly unique person. You see, you think your profile is unique, but yet you have the exact same picks as everyone else. You might think your selections are perfect, but just try to ignore the 10,000 other users who have the exact same selection. This doesn't make you a sheep, it just means you have good taste, right? <laughs> Uh, underneath the favorite films, you will find recent activity, where movies you have reviewed recently will pop up for others to enjoy. Here, it's nice to show a variety in your viewing activities by switching up genres, having different colored posters line up, you know, mixing and matching and stuff. Or you can just watch Joker four times in one week and advertise that you should be on some kind of list. Other parts of your profile showcase your reviews, allowing many people to read the infinite archives of your thoughts on movies. Scrolling through funny one-liners or incredibly long and boring term papers that not a single soul will ever read in their entire life. You can also create lists. Many use lists as a way to rank a series or a franchise, like Harry Potter or Marvel movies or Star Wars, or when you create a theme of movies that have the same kind of basis. For me, I just have one list dedicated to one incredible movie. I like to keep it simple. Your profile also showcases your most popular reviews. Well, you know, if you are popular. I mean, someone like me with over 25,000 followers, I, mean, I kind of get the most popular reviews of movies just by saying anything. 15,000 likes, 10,000 likes, all for simple, easy jokes. That's just me, baby. Not many others can be like me. You can keep your extensive analysis with feelings and heart on movies. I'm gonna make a dick joke and rake in the love. And then the very final tab of your letterbox profile, the watch list. Don't touch this. Do not touch your watch list. It doesn't matter how long it is. It doesn't matter if you have 2,000 films you think you will watch one day. You won't. You will not touch this tab, no one does. It will only grow bigger, and you have to embrace that. With now learning the ins and outs of a letterbox profile, you can see what a good profile is. My profile. Now let's look at some of yours. My viewers and friends, they must have incredible tastes like me. I'll give your profile a score of 1 to 10, with 1 being dog crap and 10 being the most perfect profile ever. Mine is a 10. You want to be like me, because if you're not, your profile sucks. I'm going to start with my friend, Cosmonaut Marcus. Now these top four favorites are amazing. Synecdoche shows taste, Truman Show shows class, Wet Hot American Summer shows fun, and Unbreakable adds some flair. All the recent movies are great as well. Overall, a solid profile. But you don't follow me back, Marcus, even though you are my friend. What is up with that, Marcus? Where is the follow? And for this reason, I have to knock this profile down a little bit. 7 out of 10. Okay, so Animal Crossing profile picture, and this top 4 is showing me that you don't watch movies. You just don't watch movies. But then you confirm that with your bio. So why did you send me this? 
Now all these favorites are great, but watch something not so quirky once in a while, please. Six out of 10. This profile screams at me that you have a personality of a 46 year old alcoholic. If it wasn't for Spirited Away, I would think you are probably a very mean person and you don't follow me either. Five out of 10. Okay, now this one is relatable. You're 17, women scare you, Ryan profile picture, Ryan in the top four movies. This is a dark letterbox. You have two movies from the same director as your favorite. Oh man, bro, don't worry. It's gonna be okay, bro. Hopefully one day you'll grow up and you'll be able to talk to women without throwing up. Six out of 10. Now, sir, you need to be original. You can't just pick my favorite movie and think that you're cool and unique for that. It's my favorite, not yours. Now, it does seem like you have pretty good taste, so I think seven out of 10 is fair. My friend, Elvis the Alien, another friend with taste. The colors of this profile are immaculate. Truly a pretty profile to view. A great mix of movie taste. This is a nice profile and you follow me, unlike my other friend Marcus, who doesn't follow me. So I give you a score higher than his, eight out of 10. What the heck is this? What is this? Did a four year old get a hold of the letterbox and send me their profile? What is this? I get liking animated movies, but dude, you're, you're living in a sunshine rainbow town and the only movie on your watch list is Suicide Squad? What? Two out of 10, do better. Oh, another four year old. Don't get me wrong. These are all great movies, especially Speed Racer, but bro, you got a one track mind or something. This is ugly. This is like I'm walking into the smelliest teenage boy room imaginable. Also, another person that doesn't follow me. What is this? How can y'all send me your profiles, but not follow mine? I am the God of Letterboxd. I own the website. Two out of 10. This person said, be nice. I'm sensitive and I would be nice. I would be nice to you, Elliot, but where are the movies? I just stumbled upon a nursing home letterbox. What is this? No favorites? Weird recent watches? There's nothing here. Elliot, you asked me to be nice, but you didn't give me anything to work with. One out of 10. You need education. 3 out of 10. You seem depressed and I hope you're okay. 6 out of 10. Finally, something fresh. This man's watching it all. He keeps it fun with La La Land, but he's also going artful with movies from 1944. I'm into it. This is not a bad profile. 8 out of 10. Why did you send me this? 1 out of 10. Not bad. A good mix of faves showing a bunch of different personalities. This is pretty good. 7 out of 10. Okay, now this, this is good. I love the Die of a Wimpy Kid, but it needs more Die of a Wimpy Kid. Why is your profile picture not Die of a Wimpy Kid related? You should not log your recent activity. This ruins the theming of the profile and the watch list has actual movies. Don't pull attention away from the main eye catcher. Six out of 10. This is a millennial dad's letterbox. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Six out of 10. This is just a college girl who moved out for freshman year, seven out of 10. If I had a letterbox in 2017, this would have been my letterbox. It's trying way hard to be cooler than it is, but it's not bad, six out of 10. This person right here has taste, but I feel like they would be very mean to me in public. So eight out of 10. Oh, Dev Lemons has a letterbox. I bet this is good. Oh. 9 out of 10. Nick is not green. YouTuber. Classic, wholesome letterbox. Full of good taste, but holding an ounce of warmth as well. 8 out of 10. Not bad, Nick. Not bad. 10 out of 10. Mwah, exceptional. Mwah. Oh, this is perfect. Mwah. Sing? Sing? Johnny from Sing? 1 out of 10. You? are a messed up person. If these are your favorites, you are incredibly depressed and I wish you the best for you in your life. Please take care of yourself, eight out of 10. I think this means you're gay or just really sad. Either way, six out of 10. If you can't even fill your top four favorites, you need to delete your letterbox. You already have three great choices here, but that blank space infuriates me. You gave the parent trap a four, just put that in your favorites. Come on, man, fill it out, make it interesting, make it appealing. Six out of 10. His profile called me names and threw me downstairs and then spit on me. Also, Joker your top four joker five out of ten this one is beautiful artful almost downright perfect a perfect mix of movies in the top four and your recent activity is stunning it's so pretty and really shows taste but too much taste and it makes me angry and jealous eight out of ten i think what i learned from looking at all these letterbox is that everyone thinks the exact same you're either fitting in with everyone else with very basic choices or you're strictly artful in the most mind-numbing way when some profiles mix it up it ruins the initial appeal of the profile and i can't really tell if a person is pretentious or needs more pretension in general. Truly, we all want to be unique and special with how we decorate ourselves, but I guess it's best to remember that no matter how hard you try to be different, you really just aren't. Thanks for watching, guys. This was a different type of video than what I normally do, but it was very fun to make. If you guys enjoyed, I'd love to do it again, and if not, I'll probably cry and rethink my entire YouTube career tonight and want to die. But anyways, thanks for listening. <laughs>